Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, it's very late in the night, guys. I actually just now started actually automatically farming for steel, which is insane because I'm playing on hard mode, guys. I can't have any trading, no nothing, no zilts, no that. Like, okay, there's, there's nothing I can do. But guys, as you can see, I'm, I'm wearing my jacket right now. I literally just, right before I went to bed, like, I ran to the office. I was like, I gotta get myself, uh, you know, set up with an AFK grinder. So that way, tomorrow, I can actually start off with a clean slate. So guys, I'm currently working on getting myself one more conveyor and then i can actually start afk grinding for titanium i mean that is literally the most insane thing to me ever i already have five i'm gonna need 25 so i'm gonna have a little bit longer to grind but yeah as you guys can see right here we have a bunch of crops i mean we have almost thirty thousand coins like last episode guys i probably spent like eight hours just grinding the game trying to you know get a pink sticky gear because that was going to change our life and guys let me tell you it did like jesus being being able to automatically get stuff without having to sit there and just grind grind for 10 years it is such a difference like i will actually be able to start building proper farms proper everything like it is going to be so much better like everything about my life is going to change the only thing that is still going to be an incredible challenge is actually figuring out how i could make myself a bigger uh farm using industrial smelters considering the last industrial smelter i got took me a mere maybe like four or five hours to get so yeah i'm gonna have to figure out a way of like a better way of getting that because that is just not really much of a viable option but yeah i'm just quickly farming the farm the Doing my thing and uh yeah here let me quickly throw some more coal into this thing because oh yeah it's, it's it's literally just ran out and uh let me go sell all my stuff right here and let's prepare for the next farm that we're gonna build in this episode guys so today i want to get myself into actually farming copper copper guys is actually gonna be a major game changer for us because guys as you can see all of this stuff it sells for like what 25 coins I mean, it's not that great it's not that great it's not that great man but guys if i can make myself a an automatic copper bolt farm that is 200 coins per copper bolt i mean it's going to be a major game changer so that's why i'm really going after that one for now so what i'm going to buy myself right now for this episode we're going to need ourselves one one coal totem we're going to have to get ourselves what i think that i think that's it just one coal totem i'm going to buy myself a bunch more blocks because i'm running really low on blocks right now let me see here let me buy like a couple hundred grass because i can now yay i could actually build an island now do you guys want to see me build an island that's sick let me buy some sand or see <gasps> glass oh my god i can make cosmetic stuff okay so wait that's really expensive maybe i don't care that much about glass <laughs> all right we're back home pick up all of our stuff all right yeah guys but yeah so um as you guys can see we are going to be able to craft a lot of the stuff we need but the, one of the big things that we're going to actually have to try and get in this episode is going to be a copper press i think we might not be able to do it this video but we're definitely going to be able to the next video get the copper press but yeah as you guys can see for the drill we're just going to need steel rods so i mean my copper island was very lucky spawn thank you very much islands developers very cool but yeah we're going to just uh, you know be able to actually like build ourselves a proper copper farm right here because i mean what i can easily connect these two things together funnel them all into the same thing by the end of this episode and just absolutely clap it in the money department it's gonna be insane i mean even the bees man i even have a proper beast production going on look i got two two things right here collect me honey please give me my honey i've actually done nothing with honey yet which is kind of interesting give me more honey all right i'm out so yeah guys the only reason that we currently cannot farm this afk is because we don't have a conveyor here in between putting coal into the you know the steel mill which you know it's very easy to set up i just need to get myself the one conveyor like i said I'm kind of thinking to myself, trying to see if there's maybe a way that I could split up the one industrial smelters into two steel mills. Because a lot of you guys probably know that the industrial smelter goes just way faster than a steel mill. So if I could do that, that could actually be a game changer. I just don't have a lot of items. So it's going to be pretty tricky. Like for me, getting a single conveyor is going to take a very substantial amount of time. Oh my God, we only need two more. <gasps> Oh my god! One more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there it is. The final freaking steel ingot for us to get a single copper pole, which took us forever, which allows us to get a single conveyor, which allows us to AFK farm this junk. Yes! Oh my god. I don't think you guys understand the amount of joy that this brings me. Dude, put that right. Is that right? Okay, that is the right spot. This is going to change my life. Like, literally going to change my life, guys. Let me start AFK grinding right here, picking up the the the. the stuff automatically and i will see you all tomorrow after i've gone afk all night after i've gone on a ton of items i will see you all then also by the way anyone for wondering how you create create a proper collection system if you do not have a chest i'm pretty sure that the using two stairs like this is going to be the best option why did it just disappear hello maybe not <laughs> nope it doesn't disappear you can just not pick it up okay we got to find something else all right guys this seems to be like the best thing i can do right now pretty much it's like that with the pretty much it's just like this where there's a single staircase right there out of the actual thing and pretty much all i need to do is just look right here in the same spot Spot all the time and i can just very easily pick it up it will always drop in the same spot this way oh no it's raining now <sighs> 
Well, this is gonna be fun. Guys, I'm gonna go AFK nice. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Well, guys, it's the next day, and sadly, I actually ended up getting AFK... Oh, wait, actually, I'm joining the wrong account. Oops, one sec. I'm joining Jesse Games. Oops. Yeah, guys, I pretty much ended up getting AFK kicked, so I think I lost out on some of my profits, but let's just hope that I still will get to enjoy some of the fruits of my labor, okay? <laughs> all right, we're in game now. Nothing looking too crazy or anything, so let's see. I got only 90 steel ingots. I literally got scammed. Are you joking me? What is this crap? What is it? What is it? I just missed. What? Do you not get a, like, block from getting... Did my internet go out, like, five... Oh, my God, I'm so mad. Dude, literally, as I started walking home last night, a, like, a thunderstorm happened. I was like, ah, oh, gosh, dang it. So I was, I was soaking wet on my way home, and I literally was like, ah, oh, at least I'm now home, and I can finish watching my movie, and I can go to bed. And then I think, apparently, my internet went out, and I got kicked right after I did it. Oh, that is... So annoying. Well, whatever. Let's for the next time. So that way, I have, everything's gonna be a little bit better. Um, let's go over here and let's actually grab ourselves a. Con okay, I gotta craft a steel rod. Craft a steel rod. Okay, yes, I got it. Thank you. Craft a conveyor belt. And then, how do I get a medium chest? I can get planks. What the Pfft, stupid. Put it over here. There you go. <sighs> so yeah, next time I'll actually uh, go AFK with a chest so that way that doesn't, cannot mess up because that old setup was a bit dumb. Um, But hey, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta just make do with what you got, you know? All right, farm my star fruit. Thank you very much. Take some of these. Thank you. Oh my God. Whoa, dude, I just got a new island. And dude, this is such a good location. Oh. <gasps> Oh, bro, I can do, 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 Holy smokes. That is literally like the best location it could have possibly been. I like how I haven't even used the first island yet and I've already got on my second one. Thank you very much, game. Really cool. Dude, that is so sick. So it appears that we can actually create an insane farm on this uh, world because guys, I think the way the island spawning works, as you guys can see, it's on the exact same axis. I mean, is it literally, the, okay, I kind of don't want to build there because guys, I think what, what it does is if you start building somewhere, it kind of starts messing with it a little bit. But I think that is literally on the exact same line. So maybe my third island will end up over there, which would be absolutely sick. I mean, if I get a third island, I actually don't have a third island yet on my main account either. So who knows? Maybe we don't even get a third island. <laughs> All right, craft the chest and then craft the industrial. I need more iron. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much, game. I think I can just yoink it from back here. Yeah. All right, now we have enough iron to actually craft ourselves the uh, the thing, the, the chest. No, wait, actually, I already have the chest. I can now craft. I need five more. Never mind. Ugh. All right, there you go. And now I have everything I need. So go in here and actually craft ourselves the industrial chest, which means that we can finally go proper AFK now. Thank you very much, game. Super cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Plonk this over here. And all right, guys, I'm going to go AFK from this right now. I'm going to eat some of my uh, gibbling, guys. It's beautiful Dutch food. Very good. I'll see you all in a bit. Yeah. All right, guys, food has been devoured. And well, guess what, guys? I have enough uh, titanium. No, what is it? Not titanium. Steel to actually craft myself my first ever drill. Oh, my God, dude. I'm actually so stoked on this because this is going to. Okay, wait, actually, I got to first craft them into steel rods. Got to craft eight of them. And then I can make my first ever steel or what do you call it? Copper drill. All right, one more. Uh, yeet. And let's craft the drill. Oh, all right, sick. So uh, I'm actually kind of scared to start building over to there. I kind of don't want to because I wanted to keep spawning in these great locations, but I think I'm safe to work towards there, but I'm just not going to touch the second one yet because that way I think I might actually get a really good third spawn as well. But yeah, let's start walking over to here. The first ever expansion I've done in like a minute, man. Gee. All right, go over to here. Let's go up. E uh, yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Let's see. Here it is. Here's our copper node. And there's our second one. It's one block over, but I mean, that is great still. Gotta delete all this junk on the actual island right here because it's just been sitting here for a while now. And dude, we should then, then be actually ready to actually start our drill production. Oh my God. I cannot believe it's actually gone this fast, guys. I mean, the last thing I can remember doing was just wasting time, like grinding iron. Like yesterday, I spent so much time. Whoa, this thing is a ton of hits. I hope we can actually move it because I placed it in the wrong direction. Please. All right, I still get it back. Jeez, I was scared there for a second. There's so many hits. Okay, so yeah, guys, I... Uh, this is the way it's gonna go. I'm gonna place a single block right here. I'm gonna have to get myself one. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? How am I going to do this? Realistically speaking, guys, I'm actually gonna need to get myself another industrial smelter. <sighs> but for now, I'll actually just tear this thing down, guys, because I wanna move it over to there anyway. So I'm just gonna take everything here down. Give me my stuff, man. Guys, I 
actually though if you think that islands is too easy try getting yourself an industrial smelter the legit way like where you actually just go and grind the the pink 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 idiots like trust me you'll you'll speak differently from there on forward man jeez all right i'm gonna grab myself my conveyor actually wait here i need grass let's place my conveyor right here that's where that needs to go then i need to have another conveyor right here with a coal totem right next to it like so another coal totem right next to that like that and then i think it's as easy as one two three four five yeah i th think now all i need right here is just why is this not go oh it, it needs coal it needs coal okay sick and then just the chest and then we actually have ourselves a copper production going on i can't believe it there it is it's making copper Woo! we're drilling boys yeah as you guys can see there's gonna be a lot of the actual copper that's not gonna get smelted here just because of the the speed uh problem or, i don't know if it's a problem but yeah the difference in speed because this one creates stuff much faster than this one can smelt it right but dude we are making copper oh my god dude that is actually so exciting oh guys we have officially joined a new era we are moving on in the world this is lovely oh my god dude even just looking at this right now we just made ourselves what like 20 copper 10 copper 10 copper that's like what 20 each so that's like i don't know how much copper salt for let me check real quick six coins each what that's like a quick 600 coins that is probably the quickest way of making money for me right now and i can do it afk which is insane yeah i mean i already made another five all right guys so our next big you know production upgrade is actually going to be a copper press but we're gonna need to get 500 copper before we can actually get that but that's not a big deal guys so i've been doing a little bit of thinking right here on how i actually want to set this all up and i want to make it so that i can actually just very quickly swap out this industrial smelter for like something else so that way i can kind of multi-purpose it because i'm not going to get another one for like a little bit so let me grab some more steel rods real quick what do i need i can only make one great <laughs> i can make one steel rod i need to make another conveyor belt here so guys what i'm actually thinking of doing right now is actually going like over to here on the side and over here building my steel production so that way i can just like you know literally move the the, the industrial smelter like five blocks and i have the other farm going because i don't want to set up like m like 10 like i don't want to just have one farm is pretty much what i'm saying here let's see let's go like this thank you thank you all right so for this production what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to start off with the smelter instead of uh, at the end there goes the steel mill then here goes another conveyor with a coal totem and then here goes our smelter actually guys i think that the industrial smelter is keeping up exactly with the demands of the drill like i think it's perfectly synced up right now this is insane but yeah i just made 42 here so i just made 250 coins is that it is my math all messed up bro what this is garbage this is garbage but yeah it's actually perfectly keeping up which is great that means that you do not need the entire splitter system anymore that i added previously and i think that is something that they actually changed interesting all right let's see all right i gotta move everything over one block that's fine i put that back there perfect Put my steel mill right here and then i need i need to go and get myself one more conveyor as well as another uh, industrial chest and then actually have a, a setup right here that kind of like adapts to what i need it to be which is kind of nice dude look at that we can have an, another one that is insane for real though we already have 63 copper which means that we are well on our way to actually getting the copper press then the biggest issue is going to be the copper plates that we're gonna need or the, the what do you call them the, the molds the cheapest mold is a thousand copper or a thousand steel that is very expensive so i'm definitely gonna have to be doing doing some uh, afk um, uh, steel grinding but i actually you know what i'm gonna get back into doing steel just for now just because it makes a little bit more sense to do so because i'm also in need of a bunch of other stuff like um uh, conveyors and such but that has to go there and then i'll temporarily steal this conveyor because i i'm gonna have to get myself another one and i also have to buy myself one more copper totem actually now that i'm looking at it all right let's get some copper totem or let's get a copper totem i should say wait there's all this stuff on the Give me! is it another infinite iron supply oh yes thank you thank you all right i'll buy myself one of these and guys the next big thing that we're gonna actually have to start thinking about is how exactly is it that i'm gonna go and get myself uh more of these pink uh stink pink sticky gears and what is the fastest way to do that because guys to be honest like i need to figure out something because uh it will become a problem very quickly otherwise so um what i'm actually starting to think guys is that i actually might oh wait actually let me take my uh, industrial chest and move it over to here yeah boom so i actually need to go get myself another industrial chest and i'm also gonna have to go and get my myself a couple more conveyors yeah okay so we're just gonna leave that running and guys i was just doing some thinking to myself and i was thinking okay you know i need to be able to get these pink sticky gears because honestly having only a single industrial smelter is gonna pose some issues down the line in the future and currently guys i don't know if you knew this but the only sword that i have is this uh wooden sword uh this one right here and i'll tell you this much sucks <laughs> so i was actually thinking to myself like what is the smartest thing for me to go after like what should i grind for right because there's all of these different weapons in the game and i could go for the go vampire bow and all this other stuff and i actually came to the conclusion that it makes the most sense for me because i don't really need anything from over this area like i maybe 
need a, uh, a, 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 what do you call it? A stone cutter, uh, an, uh, an industrial stone cutter, which would I, I would need buffalo katoras for. But other than that, there is no reason for me to go after any other weapon. Really, I can't go in. Then, um, then a title spell book. So I actually have to figure out exactly how it is that I'm going to get a title spell book. And it does sound like I'm have, gonna have to spend another substantial amount of time actually grinding for a title spell book, which is not something I'm very excited about. So guys, to actually craft this thing, we need two crystallized aquamarine and one regular spell book, which is... <laughs> I'm not excited about it. I ain't excited about it. But yeah, guys, the main reason that this is going to be super, super uh, valuable to me is because what it actually allows you to do is hit multiple enemies at once. If I hit one of these buffalo katoras, the other one also would get damaged. And that's, you know, that's why, you know, doing it with slime is so good because you can kill every single one of the slimes with like three hits because they all take damage, right? So... <sighs> To get this book, I should have farmed my, uh, can I eat these? Okay, I can. Okay, I have some food on me. I can't heal, actually. I need to kill these buffalo cutters first. Um, what I'm actually gonna have to do is get myself a blueprint for the title spell book, as well as, I mean, there is so many recipes involved with this thing. It is absolutely traumatizing. Like, it is horrible. Like, there's so many rare items. It, it's, it's so sad. Please give me one of your crystals. <gasps> actually, maybe give me a buffalo cutter crystal. That would actually be pretty nice. Or just give me a key. Either or, I'll take it. <gasps> oh, I actually got a wizard key. All right, dope. So let's actually see how hard it's gonna be to kill these wizards guys with a wooden sword uh, it's gonna be an interesting uh, scenario but uh i mean hey let's see oh this might just really 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 suck okay there these are like 10 hits what like one two okay oh that wasn't oh my god i got a desert island key okay i actually i never want to go to the desert island it's actually garbage but i mean these are pretty easy to kill like like this wooden sword is doing them pretty dirty right now like i'm not even gonna lie they are feeling it <laughs> got a red jukebox disc that's pretty cool please give me your paper i want you to paper i got a second desert island key jeez oh that hurt okay yeah i forgot how much these guys hurt <laughs> jesus all right let me actually heal up a little bit so yeah, guys it might actually be worth our time to get a buffalo katora hammer but i'm not really sure if it is like it seems like this is gonna suck no matter what like <laughs> i'll be honest with you and it's gonna suck equally bad to first get a buffalo guitar hammer like it's all gonna suck mm, yeah i mean i'm just gonna leave it there for now actually you know what i'll check out the island over there i want to see what's up with this stupid place i haven't been there in ages there's still floating dirt on the bottom look at that floating dirt game is broken unplayable all right let's see what this place is about okay they still have those guys over here oh my god this is actually where i could okay you know what let me take a little bit of this because i'm just you know i just want to have some materials Red sandstone. Interesting. Interesting. All right, I'll take some with me while I'm at it. You know what? Should I try killing one of these guys? I feel like if, if you if you guys were like right here with me right now in the voice chat, you'd be screaming at me to at least try to kill one of these guys with a wooden sword. So I'll try my best, brothers. I, I, I don't know if I'm that good at this game, but I mean, generally speaking, if you just circle around enemies in this game, they can't really do all that much to you. Or even if you stand still, like like this guy ain't, ain't gonna touch me. I, of course, I'm just doing an auto clicker right now that's gonna slice them, but that's just because I don't want to have carpent tunnel like when I'm 12 years old. You know, all right, this is uh, very easy. <laughs> he just takes a lot of damn hits. Can I yoink you off the map? Go off the map, idiot. Oh, he hit me. What is that thing at the top of my screen right now? There's a thing that's, oh, he went off the map. And you know what, guys? So will I. Farewell. What is that thing right there? Food poison? Oh, I have food poison. Lol. Let's see what our uh, copper, or not actually copper, uh, titanium, no, not titanium. Steel production has done so far. It's gotten us two steel. Wait, what? That can't be right. Wait, it can't, it, that actually cannot be right. It cannot have gotten us two, two steel in that time. Does this island unlock? when I go to the other place? I think it might. That's weird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it all loads. <laughs> Would you look at that? Well, I guess we got to stick around here, guys. But with that, we're going to end off today's video, guys. If you haven't had, had a fun time with me today, I'll see you all in the next one, boys. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. I literally spent so much grinding to get to this point. I really want to get into this update and I really want to kind of taste the meat and potatoes of this game. So guys, I hope you all had a fun time. We did all see you all in the next one, boys. Peace out, everyone. Bye-bye.